Amanda, after that, the governor said he's planning on firing any sheriffs that won't comply with orders from ICE. Here's what he had to say. And just last Friday, I've, I'm issuing an executive order right now because we have a couple of sheriffs that say they're not going to work with ICE. Well, unbeknownst to them is the main constitution says if they don't uh, follow state law that I can remove them. And so there's likelihood you're going to be hearing some stories about some sheriffs being removed from their duties. And afterwards, the governor went on to mention that he took issue with one sheriff in particular. It's likely that is Sheriff Kevin Joyce of Cumberland County, who announced just last week that he will stop holding some inmates for immigration agents because he says it's unconstitutional in some situations. But can the governor actually fire a county sheriff? Maine state law says that in order for a sheriff to be removed, the county commissioners may file a complaint with the governor describing in detail the facts of those actions or omissions and requesting the governor to remove that sheriff from office and appoint another sheriff in office for the remainder of the term. Now, I reached out to all five of the Cumberland County commissioners asking if there has been a complaint filed against Sheriff Joyce. Two of them did answer me and they said, Absolutely not. In fact, Commissioner James Cloutier said he knows, quote, of no complaint. And as far as he knows, the sheriff is completely correct about his stance relating to the ICE detention request practice. We also reached out to the governor's office again. Spokesperson Julie Rabinowitz said that there have been no proceedings for an executive order yet, but that Maine state law gives the governor the authority to direct county sheriffs to obey all orders relating to law enforcement, which they receive from the governor. That includes complying with federal authorities like ICE.